Hi everyone, Jessica here from the Zoe Report. Welcome to our Road to the Runway Editor Roundtable Hangout. Um, I think it's safe to say that everyone you see on your screen is obviously so excited for Fashion Week, which kicks off on Thursday, and I'm stoked to be talking about it today. For those of you watching, um, you can tweet us uh, your comments or questions with hashtag RZFW. And without further ado, let's meet the six gorgeous ladies that I'm hanging out with today. Let's start with Christina. Christina, tell us um, about yourself and where you are. Hi, I'm Christina Perez, and I'm coming to you from Glamour Magazine in New York. And let's meet Shay. Hi, guys. I'm Shay Marie from the blog Peace Love Shay, and I'm coming to you from my home in Los Angeles. Just down the street. Okay, and Lori. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Lori. I'm Lori Trott. I'm the fashion director from Who What Wear, and I'm coming to you from the Google HQ in Venice. Awesome. And Chriselle. Hi everyone, I'm Chriselle with the Chriselle Factor, and I am coming from Los Angeles at the Google headquarters. And last but not least, let's meet Meg. Hi everyone, I'm Meg. I'm from purseblog.com, and I'm coming to you from New York City. Okay, now that we've met everyone, let's kick off with our fashion questions. The first one is really strong out the gate. I want to know, what is everyone's craziest or most surreal fashion week moment? Lori, let's start with you. There isn't one that's specifically surreal. I know, you know, we always talk about your first Marc Jacobs show, and I think that's something that really sticks with you. But I never remember things that are crazy or calamity. I only really remember highlights and great things. And I think the first time maybe I went to a Marc Jacobs show, that was like, wow, because that was fashion. You know, it was like it was a big show. So I think that's probably what sticks with me. Love that. And uh, Christelle, what about you? Um, for me, it was when I actually got invited to Fashion Week as a blogger. I've been going to Fashion Week as a wardrobe stylist for a while. Um, and when I got invited to New York Fashion Week as a blogger and got uh, and sat front row to these shows, I, that was kind of an approval for me of what I'm doing is uh, the right thing and I'm on the right path. And Meg? Um, for me, I think there's so many moments. Fashion Week in general is so exciting, but I remember a few years ago, one of my first shows that I ever went to was Oscar de la Renta, and I ended up going to the store, and I got an outfit head-to-toe Oscar, and I went to the show, and Oscar actually saw me in the outfit, and he gave me the nod of approval, and I totally died inside. Uh, it was so exciting. <laughs> Such a pinch-me moment. Um, it was. <laughs> And Christina, what about you? What's your most surreal Fashion Week moment? I mean, I think every Fashion Week is a little bit surreal. You're sitting in this amazing venue with just a few hundred people seeing these shows that no one else gets to see, and I think that's always surreal. I mean, and I think every season is something weird happens. Like last season, we had that huge snowstorm in New York, and all the fashion people were out wearing their little Wellingtons and their duck boots, and you know, you never know what's going to happen at Fashion Week, and I think that's what makes it exciting. And let's wrap this question up with Shay. Yeah, for me, it's surreal being able to go at all. Um, this is going to be my third year going to Fashion Week, and before that, it really was just a dream to me. And thanks to the success of my blog, I'm able to go and I get invited to shows, and so it's really just all a dream come true. Well, here's hoping for more crazy moments for this Fashion Week. Um, and on to the next question. We covered this a little bit in the Zoe Report yesterday, but I want to know what handbag is everyone carrying to Fashion Week, and what are the essentials inside of it? Uh, Meg, I feel like this is your forte, so let's start with you. Yeah, this is totally my forte, and clearly <laughs> I'm the most excited to hear what everyone else is carrying for their bag, too. So I am carrying my new Celine bag this Fashion Week. I am obsessed with this bag. I saw it in the store, and I had to have it. So if you see it at Fashion Week, this is me and my bag. Um, the items that I always have in it, I during Fashion Week I always have snacks. I love these kind bars. This one is the coconut flavor. It kind of tastes like vacation, so I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I live for my Mophie case. Cannot work Fashion Week without it. And I'm a big fan of fresh products, so these sugar lip uh, scrubs are absolutely amazing. So I always have like six of them floating in my bag. Totally essential. Um, okay, what about you, Lori? Well, I just got a brand new bag, and now that I come in from L.A., I don't have a home base in New York, and so my new bag is a little bit bigger, 
and it's got a drawstring and it's got a red inside and it's this new line called Mansour Gabriel based out of Brooklyn and they just started creating these bags and I usually keep in it a pair of kitten heels because by day three I'm back on sneakers and <laughs> I also always have a snack and if I run out of kind bars now I know who to ask for them oh, and yeah. blotting papers. <laughs> Lots of blotting papers because it's steamy in New York in September. Love all of those things. Um, okay, and what about you, Christina? Well, every fashion week I am super slow at getting everything I need. So I actually haven't gotten my bag yet, but it's on its way, and it's the Philip Lim Rider bag. Um, it's the one with all the multicolored fur on it, and I fell in love with it last season when I saw it on the runway, and I can't wait to get it in my hands. But um, what's inside of it is my city bike card. I'm going to be riding my bike, my city mm -hmm. bike around New York City for Fashion Week because mm -hmm. I, it's beautiful weather here and I'm not waiting for a cab and why not get a little exercise during Fashion Week if you can. Paddle to the metal. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, what about you, Shay? Um, well, I didn't follow directions correctly and I told everybody what bag I wanted for Fashion Week, which I actually don't have. Um, the classic Saint Laurent um, sac du jour, but what I do have is a paper bag filled with my <laughs> favorite goodies. Um, emergency because we barely get to sleep, so sometimes you need a good vitamin boost. Um, some fashion tape so you don't have any slip-ups or red carpet disasters. Um, essentials like hairspray, mints, no bad breath. Those are some of the things I have in my handy bag. <laughs> Thank you. And Chrisal? So my bag, it actually kind of has a funny story because I got this red trapeze Celine mm -hmm. last fashion week uh, in the winter. And I got it because my Valentino rock set broke on me. And so oh, I mean... Yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then so I ran to Barney's and I got this purse because I've been eyeing it for so long. So it's one season, one season um, after now, and what I have in this bag is my Dior Show, Dior Snow BB eye cream, and it also conceals because I have really dark eye circles, especially when I don't get sleep. Fruit, because I I don't know why I get sick all the time during Fashion Week, so I'm always trying to just stuff my body with lots of vitamin C, mm -hmm. and then face mist. And then this tart uh, cheek stain also works as lipstick, so I'm able to kind of work it as cheek stain and also lipstick. Ooh, a multitasker. Yeah. Um, well, I love everyone's bags, but um, I'm obviously a little biased to mine, which is the Rachel Zoe Montana backpack. Um, and I'm not even like a really big handbag girl, but I just am so obsessed with this bag, and I think because I can wear it as a backpack or over one shoulder, you know, for that off-duty look, or just like over my arm. My essentials are this new iPhone case that I just recently got called a looped case. And you kind of like put it on your hand like a ring a little bit. And I'm just like notorious for dropping my phone. And now I can, you know, vlog and text and hail a cab and I don't have to do that. Um, and then these Finn Iceland Hydro Pool under eye gels, which Rachel taught me about when I first started working for her. And they are still to this day my favorite beauty product. You just put them under your eyes and like after you get off the plane and they completely, I know I feel like you'll like these for some. Um, they work magic. And finally, I have kind of a bad candy problem, so I always have like Mentos on me, also because of my name. Um, <laughs> so at all times, I have candy. Um, so let's move on to the next question. Um, as editors, I think we can all agree that New York Fashion Week is just totally crazy, and oftentimes you're out from morning until you know, two in the morning, and I feel like everyone needs a secret weapon to get them through the day. Um, so I would love to hear what that is for each of you, whether it's flat shoes or, you know, a shot of espresso. And let's start with you, Shay. What is your Fashion Week secret weapon? Looking in my bag here for it. Um, <laughs> there's this, it's by the brand RMS. It's, um, it's called their Living Luminizer, and I kind of Ooh. put it under my eyes. It's like a, it's a little bit used, this one, but... Um, it's like kind of white shimmery, but it really just brightens your eyes. It, always, it almost has like the consistency of like of lip balm, I would say. Yeah. Um, and it's one of my favorite beauty products. And if you don't have time to put anything else on, just dab a little bit around your eyes, bright eyes. 
<laughs> Love that. And Lori? Um, I do green juice in the morning. That's I get a green juice from love, love juice. Okay. Yeah, and you know, I make sure it has a little wheatgrass and a little ginger in it. And at least that way if I don't have time to eat until one or two in the afternoon, I have some kind of vitamin supply running through me. Totally. Um, and Megs, what is your fashion week secret weapon? Um, it sounds really cliche because it's also very hard to do, but I really try to sleep. I know that sounds nuts, but that's something that I try really hard to make sure that I get some sleep. And like everyone else said, I mean, the emergency, trying to eat healthy because I tend to get sick, like horrible fashion week flu every single time. So apparently the sleep's not working. I don't know. It's like you're preparing for a marathon. It's kind of like the outlook that you have to have it is, um, yeah. with it. Um, and what about you, Christina? Mine, my secret weapon is Band-Aids. I, without fail, always get blisters during fashion week. Um, it's probably because I'm trying to wear shoes that I've never broken in or I'm running around <laughs> places. Um, so I, I will not leave the house without Band-Aids. Um, one fashion week I had to run to Dwayne Reed and buy a pair of flip-flops because my feet hurt so bad, so <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> um, great answer. Um, and let's wrap this one up with Christelle. Um, I have to say mine are sunglasses, because by day three, day four, I don't like to take as much time putting on makeup. Um, I do. So that. I just throw on the glasses. No one will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay. Um, next question. This one's a really fun one. The thought on everyone's mind as we approach as we approach Fashion Week is: What shows and presentations are you guys looking forward to the most? Uh, let's start with you, Lori. Um, I am really excited to see the Altazara show, and I am always excited to see Marc Jacobs. And I'm also really looking forward to Calvin Klein. And then Saturday and Sunday is always so much fun because it's kind of like the back to school days and everybody's at Milk Studios in Chelsea and there are all these presentations going on and it's great because there are four or five things happening at once and you can just go from floor to floor and you run into all your friends and you get to catch up with people and you get to see all these new collections and it's super convenient and it's a really, really fun way to see a lot of things at once. So that's what I'm looking forward to, Saturday and Sunday as well. Yeah, um, and Christina. Um, I really am not trying to copy Lori at all, but that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> um, I, I love the Altazara show. It's one of my favorites. I, I'm so thrilled when I get invited to it because it's so beautiful and just seeing his craftsmanship up close is amazing. And then Saturday night at Milk Studios, I won't miss it. It's the best. Um, all the young designers have presentations and like Laurie said, you're bopping around seeing all of them. You always run into friends. But you also, there's just an excitement in the air on Saturday night that you don't have at a lot of the other shows. And I think it's because you have all these young designers together and they're, some of them are showing for the first time. And Shay? Um, I'm really excited to see Rodarte. Um, I feel like, you know, they're, or they were LA based, so kind of a West Coast vibe there. Also, um, Zach Posen, who I adore, is one of my favorite designers I've met. He's just awesome. Um, Rachel Zoe, of course. Um, yeah. <laughs> and of course, what everybody else said as well. <laughs> uh, Chris, what about you? What shows are you most excited about? Um, I love seeing the Rimakra show because there's always beautiful gowns. Um, and then Rag and Bone, just for very wearable pieces. Um, Rebecca Binkoff always puts on a fun party, fun show with performances. So just excited for tons of different shows. And finally, Meg. Um, I'm going to echo what everyone said to add to it. Obviously, when it comes to the accessories, I love the Rebecca Minkoff show. Like Chriselle said, it's super fun. And of course, there's tons of bags, so it makes me very happy to see that. <laughs> um, Alexander Wang's amazing. I'm really looking forward to going to the row. Um, oh, who else? I love Tibby. I really love their clothes. It's my sweater, so clearly I love Tibby. And then Oscar Lorenzo is one of my favorite. So I love his show. It's just beautiful. I feel like it's so magical. And I'm also going to Rachel Zoe, so I'm really excited about that because I've been loving her accessories and been going nuts over the bag. So, I mean, the list could keep going, but, you know, that's just some that I can name right now. 
getting so excited, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, um, next question. Um, obviously, one of the best parts about this coming fashion week is that it takes place in New York. So I want to know what everyone's favorite meetup place is in the city for drinks or coffee or, you know, just to hang out. Um, and let's start with you, Chriselle. Um, mine is mainly out of convenience is my hotel at the Hudson. And they have the beautiful Sky Terrace, which kind of overlooks the city. And when the weather is good, it's perfect for meetings, drinks, a night out. So I prefer that to meet there. And Lori? Um, you know, this is, it's been a year since I stopped living in New York. So it's actually really interesting to go back and find there are all these new places that I didn't know about that cropped up in the past year. But... My favorite right now is going to cook shop because it's on the west side and it's right near all the events at Milk and it's kind of a straight shot down the west side highway for coming from Lincoln Center. They have great martinis. It's easy to meet people there. So that's my favorite. I'm going to check that out, cook shop. Um, okay, and next, May. Um, you know, for me, it's really about convenience because I think there's so much running around. So sometimes it's like, okay, the Starbucks on the corner? Yeah, let's go there. <laughs> um, you end up doing a lot of that or just meeting in the tents themselves or outside of the shows, which is not quite as fun as actually having a fun martini, like Lori said. But uh, I do a lot of Fashion Week <laughs> events at um, ABC Kitchen. Really like it there. A lot of people go there. So I've done a lot of meals there tend to like it, it feels kind of like my my little joint for Your the spot. my spot for the week, yeah. Awesome. And uh, what about you, Shay? Um, well, I'm staying at the Hudson as well, as is Chriselle. So there's always a great spot. And then actually at Lincoln Center there's a little cafe. It's called Indie Food and Wine and it's kind of around the corner. I think it's on may I want to say maybe on Amsterdam, but um, not a lot of people go there and they have like great salads and you can get like a coffee and so if you're in that area and you just need to get something really quick like I always stop there they have pretty good stuff. Making a note of that and um, let's finish this one with Christina. Well I've got so many places. Um, in September the weather is so great and I love being outside so I either try to go to the High Line and take a break there or just sit outside Lincoln Center at the Fountain. But if I want to meet someone for a snack, I really love the new Smith up on, um, by, by Lincoln Center. There's a restaurant called The Smith, and it's just a great place to get breakfast or coffee or a drink or pretty much anything you want. So <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you, guys. You just gave me a lot of um, new additions to my little black book for New York. Um, yeah, me too. <laughs> and let's move on to the next question, which is a really fun one. Um, what are three uh, wardrobe staples that everyone is taking to New York Fashion Week? And let's kick it off with Shay. Well, I just bought um, the Isabel Barat pony hair boots that I had been wanting for fall. Ugh. So I feel like I'm going to be wearing those a lot. Even though it might still be a little warm, I tried to wear them out in L.A. and it was my feet were really sweating. But <laughs> um, I think I'll try to wear them anyway. Um, I just got a really cool backpack from Simone Camille, who's based out of L.A. It's... Um, like it's a leopard print, really cool, so I think I'll be using that because I can throw all my stuff in it, and then I don't have to use my paper bag. Um, and then, I don't know, lots of leathers, and I don't know, I'm kind of going for like a casual cool look this year, I think, some like boyfriend jeans, leathers, flannels, I think that's totally. going to be my vibe, so. Less is more, love that. Um, and what about you, Cousel, what are you taking? Um, definitely a pair of uh, statement shoes, uh, statement purse, I think, keeping the outfit a little bit more basic and having like really statement accessories. So statement shoes, statement purse, and I'm such a dress girl more than pants or jeans. So a dress that you could really wear during the day for the shows and then kind of glam it up during the evenings to the parties. Awesome. And Nick? I mean, obviously my three things are accessories, accessories, accessories. <laughs> so... I start with the bags. I well, That's my biggest thing, you know, is making sure that I'm carrying my favorite bags during Fashion Week. It gives me an excuse to take out my, you know, very special bags that I'm afraid to carry sometimes. And I bring those out. And I'm more of like a jeans girl, so my other thing is jeans and just simple tops. That's kind of what I live in during Fashion Week. I'm going to have to agree with you on that. Uh -huh. yeah. And what about you, Lori? Where are you packing for New York? Um, I, too, am a jeans. I'm a jeans girl. And... 
I have specific jeans that I like, and I have specific t-shirts that I like, and then, you know, those are the content constants, and the things that change are the shoes, and then I pick a bag, and I stick with it all week. Um, you know, right now I just got these little kitten heels, these suede kitten heels from Alexander Wang that I'm really excited about. So those are coming with me. My Adidas Rod Lavers are coming with me. And my rag and bone jeans that I've worn for the past two years. Um, so I always find... Rag and bone jeans. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and finally, Christina, what are you taking? For me, oh, where this is season, you're already in New York. <laughs> yeah, I'm already here, so I'm sort of lucky I have the luxury of having my whole closet with me. Um, but for the, me this season, it's really all about comfortable shoes. So I just got a pair of really pointy Marc Jacobs flats that I'm excited to wear. Um, and Leandro Medin's Man Repeller Superga collaboration. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it's super cute. And I got the I red velvet. That. Super cute, right? Yeah. So I got the red velvet um, flats from that. And I'm going to wear those. And then also for my high heel, I live for the J. Crew Everly Pump. It's super comfortable. I have it in gold, black, and a bunch of other colors. So I'll be wearing those <laughs> <laughs> all week. Um, well, thank you guys all for inspiring my packing list now, since I haven't even started packing. Um, and now I'd like to take some time to bring in the moderator from the Google Plus fashion community, Annie, who is going to ask a few questions for the editors. Um, so, Annie, come on into the Hangout. There she is. Here she comes. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> Hi, Annie. Hi, Annie. Hi, hey, oh. how are you? How's everybody? <laughs> Good. Good. Do you want to go and, uh, ahead and give us your first question? Um, yes. So, my first question is, how has social media changed the way that you discover new trends and talent? That is a great question. Uh, Christelle, do you want to talk about first? Sure. Um, social media has, I think, revolutionized Fashion Week, especially for the girl out there that has always dreamt of going to Fashion Week, myself included, just a few years ago. Um, and you are able to now see live streams and live feed through your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, what these designers are putting out on the runway. Um, so the girl who has no access to these shows are now able to see the, the hottest trends and are able to kind of take what they like and um, kind of put it into their wardrobe. So it's instant and you're able to just run with the trends as you see them coming down the runway. Runway to real way. Yeah. Um, great answer. Yeah, great answer. And um, Lori, what about you? Um, I mean, I love it because, you know, from a trade perspective, as an insider, I get to see all the things that I can't actually make it to because there's so much going on at once. And then for the more general public, it's amazing because they get to see the real feeling inside a, you know, inside a show venue, inside a tent how it really feels to watch these models go down the runway, what the music sounds like, um, you know, those little things that really cue what a collection is all about, and you don't get that if you're just looking at photos, um, you know, three months later. So I think that's great, and I also just think it's great the way with hashtags, everything can be sorted, and the sharing the most exciting part for me is the sharing of street style. I, I think I'm going to have to agree with that too. I love the street style photos. Um, and finally, Megs. I mean, I'm echoing what uh, both the ladies just said. It's, it brings everything together in an instant. So it's a way that you can go from Twitter to Facebook to Instagram, you know, to Google+. You're on all these different platforms, and you're able to see everything, and everyone's sharing it. So it's the best way to get this view from the eye of so many different people, from style bloggers to editors to street style photographers. So I spend a lot of time, you know, stalking pretty much what people are <laughs> wearing and what they're carrying and, you know, it helps me with my next purchases and get to see the shows, like Lori said, that you miss and you want to be part of. So I think it's changed everything completely. Uh, really great answers all around. Um, Annie, do you want to head and go, go ahead and give us your second question? Uh, yes, and my second question is, how many hours of sleep per night do you get during Fashion Week? Great 
Good one. Um, Shay, do you want to tackle this one? <laughs> oh, gosh. For me, it's never enough because, you know, the shows, they can start at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m., and then, you know, there's always after parties. You can be out. I mean, New York it stays open till 4, so if you're going for an all-nighter, you can be out till 5, and then you have to be up at 8. I mean, never enough. Let's put it that <laughs> you, way. You'll sleep <laughs> after fashion. Yeah. At least, like, two hours. That's why we all get sick, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what about you, Christina? How many Z's do you get every night? I mean, I actually try to be pretty reasonable. Um, I feel like, you know, it's important to be healthy and um, not drive yourself too crazy. So I really try to get, like, a normal amount of sleep. Um, you know, I'm also just really excited during Fashion Week, so <laughs> I I don't feel that tired. You know, it, it's just yeah. I think you're kind of, like, running off of adrenaline and everything <laughs> feels exciting. So, I mean, I feel like to get pretty cool. Yeah. Um, well, Annie, thank you so much for joining us and for your great questions. Oh, and we'll thank see you so you much. Of course. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Annie. Um, okay, so um, another really great question I have, we're almost to the end here, is what is the most rewarding part of Fashion Week for you guys? Um, Meg, let's start with you. You know, I think it's just... A, getting to be at these shows is so rewarding. I think it shows the hard work that you've put in, the recognition that you get from the different brands, and being invited is such a thrill and an honor. And also seeing, you know, for us, since we run a website, seeing our readers and our forum members be so excited by what we're sharing with them, I get really excited to see that because it's a lot of work. You know, it's a lot of fun, but it's also a lot of work. So to see people, you know, give positive feedback about it is really exciting. Yeah. Oh, okay, and Lori, what about you? Um, I think maybe it's, you know, seeing what's happening and then it's kind of like this puzzle that you put together and a few months later down the road you share with everyone or, you know, in the case of social media you share it a little bit sooner. But what I really love about it is going and seeing everything and being able to share that with more people and share my perspective with more people and just kind of spread that. I love that. The Fashion Week puzzle. That's super cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about you, Christelle? Um, I think for me, it's just the inspiration of it all. Just walking away feeling inspired to go back home to, um, to translate that to our viewers and our readers and to see their reaction. And that's the most rewarding part when our viewers and readers are as excited as we are. Um, and Christina? Um, I just think Fashion Week is incredible because what other industry do you see that gets together twice a year to show everybody what they're working on? I mean, really, when you think about it, it's just it's so special to work in an industry where everybody gets together and sort of celebrates their jobs. And um, I don't know, I just always feel really proud to work in fashion after Fashion Week. It's really cool. It's just really amazing. And uh, finally, Shay, what is the most rewarding part of Fashion Week for you? Just being there in general and being around so many talented people, um, I feel really lucky and excited to be, you know, a part of something so wonderful. So it's great. Totally great. Wait, can we just take a moment to talk about your headphones? What are those? Those are amazing. Oh yeah, they're super cool. They're from um, Barbara Bui, who's a Parisian designer. I don't know if you guys are familiar with her, but she does really cool stuff. Lots of leathers. One of my favorites. So. She sent them to me, and they've got like little spikes on the side. They're amazing. They're, they're really sharp, though, so I've been t wearing them with me to the airport and like feeling cool, but when you try to sleep, it's not so. <laughs> but they look <laughs> amazing. So yeah. <laughs> okay, well, this is really sad, but we're down to the final question. Um, it's been so much fun hanging out with all of you guys. And the last question is, it's actually two parts. First, I want to know what everyone's Fashion Week manicure is. And second, I would like to know where we can all follow you um, during Fashion Week. And I'm going to start. My manicure is um, the super cool, magical, like, oil slick Jen Soon color from her fall collection. And I just think it's, like, cool and moody and kind of goes with everything. And you can follow me and everyone else from Team Zoe at the Zoe Report. And just be sure to use the hashtag RZFW. And, well, and uh, Giselle, where can we follow you? And put your hands up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I'm wearing right now a gray color from Etsy. I don't really know what the um, the brand or the name of the exact color is, 
But I thought it was a great transitional color from the summer to the fall. Uh, and you can follow me at Christelle Tweet. That's my Twitter handle, and the bottom is my Instagram. Awesome. And Lori, where can we follow you? You can follow me at Lori Trot, L A U R I E T R O T T. Or you can also follow my feed, which will come in through Who What Where at Who What Where. And my manicure is actually TBC right now. I'm waiting <laughs> until I get to New York to have it done because um, with traveling and luggage and everything, it'll. Then it won't ship. Yeah. Yeah. So follow me on Instagram and you'll find out. <laughs> TBC. <laughs> um, okay, what about you, Shay? I'm very into manicure, so I always have something kind of fun going on. And I don't know if you can see Ooh, it, but I have one right now. <laughs> kind of like a fun little print of black and uh, neutral. And yeah, you guys can follow me at Peace Love Shay. Follow me. And there's my website, um, Twitter, Instagram. Everything's the same to make it easy. Thanks, guys. Hi, thank you. Um, and Christina. Well, I, I, I don't know if I can top Shay's awesome manicure. Mine's so boring <laughs> compared to that. Um, but I went with a really, really neutral. I don't know if you can even see it. It's called um, Broach the Subject. It's Essie. And I just really wanted something neutral that would go with everything that I wouldn't have to worry about. Um, you know, you're rummaging in your bag all the time. I'm going to be riding that city bike. And so I didn't want to worry about my um, manicure chipping. And then you can follow me at Christina L. Perez. Or Glamour at Glamour Mag. And finally, Meg, let's see your manicure. I really didn't want to follow Shay either. That's unfortunate. <laughs> um, so I went with mine's like a matte polish. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. cool. It's not Shay worthy, but it's okay. <laughs> and I couldn't decide on like an accent color, so I went with a bunch of different colors for each nail. And then you can follow me. I'm at purseblog and purseblog.com. So that is where I'll be. And that's for Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all those things are all the same. Well, thank you for sharing those major manis with me. And thank you, everyone, for hanging out with me today. So excited for Fashion Week. Um, to all of you watching, be sure to tune in to our next Hangout, which is this Saturday, with the amazing, insanely talented makeup artist, Charlotte Tilbury. So until then, bye. Happy Fashion Week, everybody. Bye. bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. Thanks. <laughs>